This video is brought to you by Simply Safe. I want it to blow up, but not like this. Today is the day Rob gets beat by a stock RX8. And the sad part about, about that, <laughs> the superior chat is going to do all the work. I'm just going to be there. Very scared. I don't have any sim experience like some people. I don't have any track experience on this track like some people. I don't have a professional coach like some people. I also don't have the excuses like some people. I, I also don't have the car like some people. So if, if I get within a minute of him, I win. If he completes one lap, he wins. <laughs> How do you feel about your numbers? I like fours and I like fives. That's normally what I hit. I don't think I've ever hit anything over over five, so you hit what you can get, right? I'm a little nervous. I'm not like I'm, I'm a man. I have feelings too. No experience. So we're just gonna see how it goes. The Kumo tires seem really promising. Rob said my suspension are really nice. Time for Daddy Dom to give some love. The Doctor Dom right now. That's even better. So he's got the shittiest shit. He's got max peating rods. I can't even recommend him as a budget option. But the good news is that the problem with them isn't their quality. It's how Isaiah preloaded and not preloaded it. It's very adorable how it was set up. Uh, <laughs> But I'm gonna fix it because right now he literally is bottoming out the shock and hitting the whole thing. The whole thing's just slamming into the, you know, bump stopping. When he sets the car down, it bump stops. I'm gonna fix this. That's how superior the car's been driving. Everybody's complained that's ridden with you. <laughs> My fifth and sixth vertebrae are now fused thanks to Isaiah. What you can see is everything is all the way to the bottom, and that's hilariously wrong. He was saying that the spring was too short, and I get why he thought that at first. And that could solve the problem if you were from here, but we're actually gonna fix the spring up, um, preload it, and then get, adjust the rest of the heights to get what he wants. This is so bad. That's not bad. I like it. I do too, that's like proper. That's as low as I would go. Maybe a little bit lower. Yeah, a little really bit lower. Good. Let's see what I can see. There, I like the it. That's the first time this car's actually bounced. <laughs> um, I can lower it a little bit. This is this isn't that one inch. This is this is proper ride height. Leave it. That's fine. Fortunato, if you see this, please help. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> I, I you can't would've... beg any harder. No. Fortunato, <laughs> I just want to point out that I have not asked you guys. You get, just so you all, everybody knows, Fortunato has been offering to help us with all the shocks. Now, working with Owens, love them. I've had a lot of other shock companies do great, but. I haven't let Isaiah get Fortune Autos, and here's why. He would have done this to the Fortune Autos. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I, uh -huh. yeah. See, I saved you guys from a YouTuber making a mistake. <laughs> this is how Isaiah set him up. It's like the FC was set up where the, the spring looks too short for this. All I did was move this all the way up here, so I'll show you what it looks like on this one. I set it up more proper, so I still kept it a little lower than ideal, so the spring is slightly, slightly bouncy. This is on purpose. It's got a little bit of slop at the moment. Once the car weight goes on it, it's fine. But uh, the reason why is I still gave him a little bit of low because the only other way that you can lower this is in the bottom, in this boot area. And that's maxed out. The inside of this thread is all the way to the bottom here. So you physically cannot lower, shorten the shock any more than it is. So I'm trying to gain him some ride height and have some bounce. Oh, that's decent. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm... Pretty heavy things like you saw I'm just gonna get in there find a song I like and just you know I'm gonna I'm a pretend Billy's next to me I'm gonna just pretend I've been avoiding this because I know how I'm gonna treat this and it's even worse now because Rob's done it too so this is the start of the everlasting battle that will last eternity and we also have an RX-8 in my group so I have another RX-8 buddy I think my rap's a little a little cuter you know he's killing it with the Nardo Grey though that, that's, that's build 101 Dustin. Dustin with the GTRs. We'll be out there with them. Machining this exhaust flange for the four rotor is actually proving to be quite a laborious task with tons of time involved and going very slow. So I'm leaving this machine running at all times. And you know what's nice about that is I have the peace of mind of keeping something like this running, potentially catching on fire, doing something bad, all because of Simply Safe, I can monitor the shop when I'm not here, when I'm going and grabbing some coffee, even when I'm in the other room. All of the things in Simply Safe system is keeping me Simply Safe. You see that up there? That is a smoke detector, obviously, right? But with this system, it's all connected because if you have just a smoke detector you buy that's standalone, it can't tell you what's going on, but Simply Safe can. So all of this is simple, it's comprehensive, interconnected, and accessible on my phone. It's even 
the hidden little panic button at the top right there. I know that Joel wants to press it every so often just because he's worried about having to edit a video, but that's not what you use a panic button for. It's as simple as this. You can log into the app. You got the same things, nice and consistent, easy to see. You can check the cameras, the temp sensors, everything that's gone on in your shop. Absolutely wonderful. I can have it where I have multiple places, my home, my shop, all of that from one app. You can alarm it, disarm it. You can save 20% and your first month is free when you sign up for interactive monitoring when you go to simplysafe.com slash robdom to learn more about that. That's simplysafe.com slash robdom. How was it? That was exciting. You just gotta trust your car a lot. I've never driven like that hard in this car before, and this car ran like shit until yesterday. So you're just kind of getting used to it. You can obviously get into the corners faster, your tires warm up. The car could be amazing, but you could just be slow as fuck, like me. <laughs> but it was fun. I did start to overheat on like the last lap a little bit. I got like three quarters of the way, but the cool down lap, it came right back down, and uh, we'll do the ultimate uh, superior test real quick. You ready? All right, the car's off. Let's see how, how good it starts. That's it right there. That, that's how it's done. That was our very first time out in both cars and a lot of learning was to be had for everybody. Super fun stuff. We're gonna do another group. We're still in the lowest group again. I ran a 133 and Isaiah ran a 136.9. She busted a nut for sure. I think um, it got way too hot. I was pushing it a lot harder. I actually felt a lot better, but let me uh, let me see. So that was actually really amazing. The first couple laps out there, I think I did two or three laps. I spun out, but and I felt way more comfortable with the car. I was in kind of a battle with a Honda Fit and a Miata. I passed the Fit, and then um, I was about to pass the Miata, and then I think I ended up spinning out. That's what I remember correctly. On the straightaway right here, needle pegged, and then upper radiator hose blew off. Oh, so, wow. yeah, um, all that aluminum stuff that I had on the radiator from before all came out. I think that's not helping. Well, I'm just gonna put the hose back on, fill it back up with coolant. It's gonna run good, and um, We'll just probably just call it at that. I don't think I, I can get more if it's gonna keep on doing it's only that. Only one more session anyway. Yeah, I mean, I wanted it to run tomorrow too, but yeah. yeah. You can you can at least run one session. Tomorrow. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I mean, we'll just play it by ear. But I felt really good in the car. I had better rhythm, like you're saying in the bowl. Yeah. Um, coming into the bowl, I long the straightaway. I hit 
fourth gear barely and coming uh, to turn into the bowl, I downshift to third, but I keep on it. And at, at the top of the bowl, right before the, the apex, I downshift in the second, I turn, and the turn literally deletes all oh, my speed. Sick. I just found a really good rhythm. That, that felt amazing to me. Did that you felt, uh, see your times or no? It was still 136 on the first oh. two laps. That's all right. But it, it felt consistent. And then I spun out because my tires weren't warm enough yet, and I was oh, I was confident enough to take that uh -huh. turn. And so going, and I was trying to hold it, trying to hold it, but it just it's weren't warm enough yet. But amazing. So upper radiator hose uh, popped off, and then also my belt flew off too. Wow. Whoa. Oh shit. I wonder where that guy went. So yesterday when we headed out to the hotel, the autos are literally right here up the street. Had the belt for me. Grabbed the belt. Grabbed another hose clamp just because those OEM ones are kind of whack. So got a new hose clamp. Got a new belt. Anticipate the wind, you know. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, all it does is put the alternator belt on. Really easy. Two bolts. But I didn't think I lost this much force. Here he is. Lost the whole gallon. And some clip with some additive. Since we're out here racing today, we got the super coolant additive Pro V Racing. She is back, ready to rock. Uh, we're gonna go out to Big Willow, my first time, my this is pretty much my second session ever at a big ass track and a slow ass car. So we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see what we can do. Little jealous right now. He's out there, and I'm just mean mugging from the sidelines. But you know, I gotta root for my boy. I'm rooting for Isaiah, not the car. But unfortunately, that car might end up being the savior of the day. With me being out of fuel. I can maybe do two passes and you know, I want to turn up the boost. I don't want to learn on those passes. I want to be at least at like a 60, 70% proficiency with the track before I you know, take the car out. So I'm going to go up to the drift area, ask the drifty boys if they've got any extra fuel to sell me, but Isaiah's going to go ahead and start lapping it. And then I think I'm going to jump into like one of the lower level classes between this class and the next one of this class. So that way I can get track experience in the RX-8 at worst and then send it next round with the seven. Turn eight, were you shitting yourself? I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna keep doing this. You need to be very experienced, so I think it's just a fucking fast track. Yeah. How'd you do? 205. Oh, not bad. We did one, and then... Oh, a black flag, right? Yeah, so that, that, that means come in, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so you did a warm up and a lap, and that's it. Yeah. So. 205s, that was just you getting up to speed. Oh, I think our session is still going, right? Yeah, I can jump yeah. in now. Oh, it feels so wrong, but the RX-8 is the savior at the moment. Let's see what happened Rob is currently stuck out there. No idea what happened. Rob just told me via our walkie talkie that uh, it just turned off and won't start. I, I don't know what happened. The car ran perfectly fine, literally just right now. I just came in, he got in there and he went right back out. So I don't know what's wrong. He thinks I set him up. He broke the car, so it's just too fast. Yeah, uh, exterior chassis. So much. This is exactly why we need a three rotor. <laughs> I've got so much to say once we're done. Don't get excited, okay? Chill. Oh, sad, oh my god. I didn't expect it to go like this. I did not expect me to be the one. You stuck in the car once. You set me up. 
Appreciate it. This? Pulling the car? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Was that straight earlier? That was straight. I was framed. I was framed. I have multiple reasons to prove this. I was getting it. I was giving the car what it was deserved to be given, and I was loving it. And unfortunately, the Go the 360 thing uh, didn't turn on. It didn't capture the shot. But I was having a blast. I got the car sideways through a uh, turn. Yeah, we saw that. Oh, you saw that? <laughs> I was just nice and recovered it. You drive nice. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Everybody else was faster than me, but the, it was it was a good idea. Joel made a really great point to have me come out here. Unfortunately, this happened because now it's on my hands. I've spilt blood. Nothing oil related happened to me, and you somehow blew up the oil system. <laughs> so what happened? I was coming through turn two, and I was on the rev limiter, whatever, 9,000 RPM, and all of a sudden it dropped to 8,000 RPM. You know, like, the car like shuddered a little bit, went to 8,000 RPM, and then just do, and then I shifted into third, that was whatever, that was, that was maybe third, went down to second to try and get it to like pop start, and do. So it, it just, it died on me. And then Fuck look, yes. I hate it, yes. I hate it. Cause it, that gives Isaiah yes. plausible reason to have the shop to help build a better setup. But I don't know, I don't know what blew, but I definitely, I definitely killed it. The three rotor will last longer than the RX-8. I can promise you that. I can promise you, I didn't even get, the, that was my warm up lap, but I was sending it. I was, I was going, I, I got out there full speed. I'm actually kind of upset cause I drove this thing here. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to blow up, but not not like this. How does the car feel overall? I, I feel like it just needs more power. I perfect. hate to admit this, guys. Um, I superior. <laughs> it, it is. It is superior. That's a lake in Michigan. Yeah. We have the same Kumos on this car, exact same setup as we do on this car to the FC, and the FC is all tricked up to be a track car, like from 10 years ago, whenever the previous owner had it. This car handles so much better, so much more predictable, so smooth. I actually drifted one of the turns when it kind of got loose, but I could really feel the limits of these tires and feel where the car was. So I was very impressed with that. It was easy transitions. The, the car is actually really easy to handle and drive. It's, this is very sad, but I, I'm gonna need a G42 1200. I need a uh, billet plates. Um, I need some more titanium. I need machine work. Uh, I need a dump just, by next You just week. need coolant seals. I need a Motec exhaust system. <laughs> I, need I heard Hector's running this. Springs. Yeah. <laughs> I need Fortune Autos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I did? I blew the car so you wouldn't need Fortune Autos. <laughs>